What's up, boys? Taking a look at some more NBA player props today over on Prize Picks. Prize Picks is my favorite website and app to take a look at some NBA player props and just really all player props in general. I play it all the time. If you guys are on Prize Picks, highly recommend joining. Available in most states and in Canada. You guys get a 100% deposit match when using code DUMG when you guys go ahead and first sign up. It's a 100% deposit match up to $100. So please go ahead and use my code if you guys want to sign up for Prize Picks. Again, available in most states, 100% deposit match up to $100 using code D-O-M-G. A bunch of you guys have been using my code. And I seriously do appreciate it because it helps me out and helps you guys out as well. Okay, so let's go and take a look at these. Yesterday was 2 and 1, so we've constantly been 2 and 1. We've been 2 and 1 for like the past like four or five days, it feels like. I'm not sure how long it's been, but it's been a lot. I uh, just really can't get a hold of that sweep. So Kyrie Irving went over his 25 and a half. Dinwiddie went over 20 and a half. And Donovan Mitchell went under uh, four and a half assists when we took him on the over. So Mitchell ended up uh, not doing the best <laughs> right there. So. I don't know what he was about. He just wanted to keep scoring. He did not want to pass the ball yesterday. But uh, yeah, we're going to take a look at these today. So I got three point props for you guys. So we got all points. And that's uh, how we're going to be uh, going about it today. So we'll take a look at these here. Uh, just make sure you guys like the video and subscribe to the channel. Helps me out a ton. Just bare minimum though, like the video because that helps me out uh, for sure. It takes like two seconds out of your day. But let's go ahead and do this right now. So let's go ahead and take a look at the point props here. We're going to start out with a Milwaukee Buck here in Grayson Allen. So... He's still nine and a half, and Giannis has been ruled out, and so has Chris Middleton. So, yeah, right here. I know Giannis rebounds was a popular play today. I was actually looking at Giannis rebounds too, and uh, I was definitely thinking about taking that one, but uh, he got ruled out before I could uh, have my heart set on it. So, 8 o'clock tonight, though. Nine and a half point spread, 229 and a half over under. So, the spread is a little bit better than it was at like 13 and a half because of Giannis. But, uh, yeah. So let's take a look here at shooting guard going against the Washington Wizards. But real quick, if you take more of a look into this one, he's a minus 105 to hit this over. No Middleton, no Giannis. He is 5 for 7 without Giannis this season at hitting over uh, 9.5. He is 10 for 12 this season without Middleton. And he hit versus Washington this season without Middleton, and he had 19 points. So, and uh, yeah, so I he is 2 for 2 versus Washington this season because he hit... He had 19 without Middleton the first time they played. And then in the second matchup, Middleton did play. I believe Giannis played as well, and he had 10 points. So I do like the spot a lot for Washington, especially with all the players out from Milwaukee. He should be getting the ball a little bit more here. Uh, holiday points can be a good look as well. But uh, shooting guard versus the Washington Wizards here. Let's take a look at this here. So season-long shooting guard points versus the Wizards. And the Wizards are allowing. They're kind of a little bit on the harder side, probably. Not really. Uh, 3, 6, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Now I'm the 13th the least amount of points per game to the shooting guard position. So it's not anything too, too tough. Kind of a middle of the road matchup, I'd say. But the uh, last seven games here, Washington is kind of still right in that middle. So 3, 6, 9, it looks like. 10, 11, 12, 13. Yeah, kind of, now nah, they're kind of still in that range. Yeah, probably about the 13th least, somewhere around there. Uh, so they've kind of stayed consistent on being. I guess you could consider it a tough matchup, but really not a super tough matchup, if that makes sense. But I think it's a really good spot nonetheless here with uh, Grayson Allen. Uh, he's hit twice versus Washington, like I said, this season. No Giannis, no Middleton should help him here uh, to score a couple more points here. So Grayson Allen is definitely one that I'm eyeing at the end of the night tonight. Okay, let's take a look at two more props here. Let's take a look now at... Uh, let's take a look at Pascal Siakam over 22.5. So Siakam here is a... Really good spot here. He is playing a tougher defense that well, kind of limits scoring in Cleveland. But uh, he's averaging 24.6 in his last five games here. He just needs to have 23 tonight. So he fell on the hook last time against Chicago. But uh, he's a minus 112 to go ahead and hit this over. He is hitting 47% of his games this season. 7 out of 10 hit rate in his last 10 games. And he had 24 last matchup versus Cleveland. So he did hit the over just barely, though, against Cleveland. And uh, he's been killing this lately, though. 7 out of 10 in his last 10 games. So kind of riding the wave a little bit. On Pascal Siakam, he's been doing great scoring-wise. We'll take a little bit more of a look into this one. So power forward going against the Cleveland Cavaliers here. It's a five-point spread, 215 over under here. We're going to take a look at this spot. So power forward here versus the Cleveland Cavaliers, and they are on the easier side. It looks like 3, 6, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So we're on the 13th most points per game to the power forward position, so kind of middle of the road spot, uh, which is actually very, very good for a team that usually – has a low over under on them. They kind of play at a slower pace. Cleveland usually typically does. So I kind of like that spot for sure. Um, with it being, they're really, they're allowing a lot of points. The power forward is what I'm trying to say. But three, six, nine, they're on the 10th most points per game in the last seven games here to the power forward. So 
It's been a very, very good spot all season. It's been one of Cleveland's weak points as a power forward. So I definitely like the spot a lot because they've allowed very few points and they're at the top when it comes to power forward points. So hopefully you guys kind of understand what I'm trying to say there. But I like the spot here for Pascal Siakam to go ahead and hit this over of 22 and a half points. Okay. Uh, also, every, always tailor everything at your own risk. Do your own research, all that different stuff. Don't go directly just off of what I say because a lot of things change throughout the day with odds and all that. So just always do your own research and uh, tailor at your own risk. So, um, all right, let's take a look now at Pat. Um, I'm sorry. Chris Stapps Porzingis here over 19 and a half points. He's probably my favorite of the day, honestly, because uh, he is at 19 and a half, but he's, tw he's at 20 and a half on other places. So we're getting some value here on prize picks for sure. He's at minus 106 to go over 20 and a half. He is hitting 50% of his games this season and 5 out of 10 in those last 10 games. So Giannis out, Middleton out. That should help Porzingis here. So obviously there's no Giannis guarding the rim for Milwaukee. It's going to help quite a bit, or at least it should. So let's take a look at this here. So Washington center going against the Milwaukee Bucks here. Five Portis and Brooke Lopez here guarding the uh, rim it looks like. But 9.5 spread, 229 over under. Looks like a pretty good spot here. Let's take a look here. Season long center points versus Milwaukee. This is going to be obviously factor in Giannis and Portis and all that. So they're kind of uh, in the middle. It looks like kind of a middle of the road matchup. Maybe like the 12th, 11th toughest. But when it comes to the last seven games here, they've actually been long a lot. And now they don't have Giannis. So right here, they're on a ton. So three, six, nine. Yeah, they're on the 10th most points per game to the center this season. So, or I'm sorry, in the last seven games. So it looks like a pretty good spot here for Porzingis as well to go ahead and hit the over on his points. So that's probably one of my favorites of the day. For sure, especially with Giannis and all them out. So that's uh, kind of what I'm eyeing today on prize picks. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Just talking about those three uh, player props right there. All point props. So I'm liking those quite a bit here. Uh, Porzingis is one for two, by the way, versus Milwaukee. Last season, he has not played them this season. Uh, he's been hurt, obviously, most of the season here. But uh, he had like 15 in the first matchup, 26 in the second. And that was last season. But I'm assuming Giannis was playing in those two games. I didn't check. But uh, yeah. Averaging 21.6 in his last five, too. He's uh, definitely my favorite of the night, I'd say, uh, for Porzingis, at least as of right now. A lot of things will change. It's only 112 right now when I'm recording this. So, yeah, um, pretty much going to do it, man. So, Mobley's in a good spot, too. I'm just kind of, I don't like how he's been burning me a lot. <laughs> I should really get over myself there. But, yeah, I'm surprised Grayson Allen didn't go up at all, to be honest. He's already been at, like, 10.5 on some places, too. So, I like him a lot at 9.5. So the odds are the odds are kind of split here between places. I mean, some places have nine and a half, some people have ten and a half, and Price P says I'm nine and a half, and I'm very very happy with that. Oh, also forgot to mention at the beginning of the video. If you guys aren't already on Prize Picks, go ahead and sign up using my code for sure, because right now you get a sixteen times uh, payout if if you guys go five for five on a five pick uh, play here. So let's say we want these five players all to go over on their points. So if we were to go ahead and play this. Um, you could go ahead and let's say you want to put $10 on it and you would get a hundred dollars. And then tomorrow, I believe at noon, I think is when they're updating it. You'll get an extra 60 cause it's a six times payout. So if that makes a little bit of sense. So just go ahead and check their uh, details. It should be on there, right? When you load up the app, you should get a notification, um, or a little thing that pops up. Otherwise check their Twitter. They have the details over there, uh, the full details for that. So pretty sweet deals are doing on prospects all the time. Uh, the college basketball return, it has to be multi-league by the way. I'm sorry. I forgot to mention that. Not just NBA, has to be multi-league. So you can do, like, I believe one college basketball player with four NBA, and it would count as long as you hit a five uh, for five. So pretty sweet, but that's going to do it. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Like and subscribe. Goodbye. Let's hit a 3-0 sweep tonight. Hope you guys have a good night.